we have solved the core technical barriers needed to deploy CPO switches. We're building these things in labs. We've done small level deployments. Uh, now the real question is what does it take to get these uh, switches out to market and widely adopted? There's two primary uh, barriers that we look at where need to prove to the market uh, that the core silicon photonics technology is reliable and that reliability will translate to box level reliability similar to pluggable modules. Uh, in addition, very critical is there's got to be a clear economic and total cost of ownership benefit of using CPO technology over pluggable modules. We feel very confident that that is, uh, we, it's for us to prove it, but uh, we're very confident. We have a very successful uh, business where we sell components in the modules. We know the market very well. We know the Ethernet switch market very well. And we, we see the total cost of implementing these boxes. And we see also the reliability from our core silicon photonics uh, being able to really make a big impact in the market. Obviously, pluggables have the advantage of being deployed as you go along, but there's a sacrifice to that in terms of uh, integration and not being able to integrate all the optical lanes together uh, from the beginning. Using CPO technology, you can really drive deep integration of all the optical components directly with the uh, ASICs, which results in kind of day one, day one costs that are substantially lower than pluggable modules. There's a couple, a couple key areas in the reliability. So uh, number one is the laser component, which has generally been the least reliable component in pluggable modules. We have that as a separate field replaceable unit so that it, it has no positive or negative versus existing pluggable modules. And our core modulator and photodiode technology is built on really pure silicon technology, no indium phosphide, no other uh, exotic uh, materials, so we expect the reliability to be similar to the switch dies that it's made of, which is also core sil silicon uh, technology. In terms of time to market, this has been a big criticism of CPO. It's obviously a new technology that's uh, coming up, so it's it's nascent in its uh, integration. But uh, we're seeing as as we're going from the 25 terabit generation to 51T to what comes next, we're shortening and shortening the time between when CPO technology is available to integrate with that switch and when that switch is coming to market. So we expect in this following generation to have CPO technology available day one with the release of the future uh, Ethernet switches. Mm -hmm.